Warning, this video contains team selection and captain choices which some viewers may find offensive. Hey guys and welcome back to FPL TV. Just to let you know that after many requests, I've finally created a mini league for everyone to join and compete in. To join the league, simply navigate to leagues on the FPL website or app and enter the following code. The code can also be found in the description below and I'll be sure to think of a really cool prize for the winner. Before looking ahead to game week 2, let's quickly run through how my squad performed for the opening game week. Expensive goalkeeper Edison made a perfect start with a clean sheet and one bonus point. Admittedly, a clean sheet away to Arsenal massively exceeded my expectations, but this now stands him in great stead for their following games, as Manchester City face lower league opposition for the next six game weeks. The same can be said for teammate Benjamin Mendy, who delivered returns at both ends of the pitch. As expected, he bombed forward at every opportunity and registered two assists on top of his clean sheet. Van Dijk and Rudiger also managed clean sheets, completing a full house for my expensive backline. Rudiger, despite not contributing any goals or assists in Chelsea's 3-0 win, still managed to return the maximum three bonus points, so this was a very welcome surprise. A good start for my defenders, all justifying their high price tags early on. In midfield, Jota and Eriksen returned seven points between them. Not a great performance from either player in all honesty, and I felt very fortunate to get assist points from Jota, who simply won a free kick and his teammate Neves did the rest. Following Bernardo Silva's top performance against Chelsea last weekend, I decided to take a punt on him as a cheaper route into Man City's midfield. Luckily for me, it paid off, with Bernardo Silva scoring a wonderful strike at the Emirates. Predictably, the reliable Mo Salah also opened his account for the season, scoring a tap-in against West Ham. A decent start for the Egyptian king, which will certainly worry those who don't own him. As for FPL strikers, it was a disappointing game week in general, as it was for my strike force. Arni and Mitrovic both blanked, and Firmino's one assist actually made him one of the highest scoring premium forwards, with only him and Jamie Vardy scoring more than two points in this category. So for game week one, my side have kicked off the season with a 78 point score. It's given me a rank of around 300,000, and seeing as though the average score was 53, I'd have to consider this a very decent start to the FPL campaign. So let's look on now to game week two, and check out my transfer activity and team selection for the upcoming weekend. So my transfer dealings have already been complete this week. I've used my one free transfer to swap Wolves' Diogo Jota for Everton's Richarlison. I still believe Jota to be an excellent pick this season, and usually I do like to persevere with players for longer than one game week. But with these two being valued the same, and with Richarlison inevitably rising in price soon, I had to be quick to make the straight swap. Given Richarlison's form, fixtures and high ownership, for me, he's the more dangerous option not to own at this stage, so I'm happy to have made this transfer. So given this transfer business, this is how my team will likely line up for game week 2. My defence will remain unchanged, with Van Dijk, Rudiger, Edison and Mendy. Manchester City have a very nice fixture at home to Huddersfield next, so I think a clean sheet there could be very likely. In midfield, new signing Richarlison has a favourable home fixture, as do Christian Eriksen and Bernardo Silva. They have home games against Southampton, Fulham and Huddersfield respectively. Christian Eriksen created five chances in the opening game week, more than any other midfielder, so hopefully he can prove his worth in game week two. Mohamed Salah will likely get the armband again away to Palace, as I haven't built up any courage to even consider any other captain option just yet. To complete my midfield, I'm thinking to use Watford's Will Hughes this game week away to Burnley. Despite no returns in game week 1, he did play extremely well in Watford's confident opening 2-0 win, producing three goal attempts of his own. His opponents Burnley face another Europa League test just three days before this game. Up front, we'll see Firmino and Arnautovic get another run out. Arnie was extremely isolated away to Liverpool, but I don't think any of his owners really expected much from that game. He now has the chance to prove his worth in the kind of game that we all brought him in for, so hopefully he can deliver at home to Bournemouth. My bench currently sees Mitrovic miss out this week in a tough away fixture against Spurs, a team that at home are very strong defensively. I am slightly concerned to bench Mitrovic though, because his stats in the opening game week were actually very promising. Despite the Serbian striker not scoring against Palace, he produced the most goal attempts of any striker that weekend, with 7 attempts on goal. I may again still play him over Will Hughes, but I'm undecided on this one currently. So that's my team sorted for game week 2. 
Be sure to come and say hello on Twitter at FPL TV, where I'll post any team updates and of course my final team submission before Saturday's Game Week 2 deadline. As always, drop a like and get subscribed if you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you all very soon. And remember, FPL responsibly.